<laughs> Hi everybody, welcome to Paul Programs, your one-stop shop for learning more about game mechanics, game design, and more. So, last week, I spent time at GDC, working the IGDA booth, helping out the Mentor Cafe, and just checking out all the different talks and things like that. It's honestly one of my favorite conventions to go to because of the people. It's really the people that make the game industry. So what I wanted to do was just a quick recap of some of my highlights of being at GDC, kind of like things I enjoyed being there. So let's get this started. All right. The first thing I want to talk about is the Mentor Cafe. Uh, for the first time, I actually helped out and shared some of my experiences working in games, QA, uh, programming, development, and just all sorts of different things that I've been involved with related to the game industry and very adjacently associated with the game industry. And this was cool. I met four really uh, great people who were looking at finding ways to kind of break into the industry or end up where they want to be career-wise involving games, making games. And honestly, it's one of the most satisfying parts of being able to take what's all up in here from all the years and set it free so others can learn and get going on their careers. The next bit was working the IGDA booth. I actually had a great time meeting others, talking with them, kind of like pointing them to how like the IGDA works and how we connect and basically all the different groups based on special interests or local chapters and also working the mixer and meeting more people there. It was a great time just to really get to hang out and chat with other developers and just give back in some way too by helping with the IGDA and keep that kind of community of global developers growing because you can never have enough diversity because diverse games make better games, honestly. And these next few are gonna be a little more rapid fiery but basically, I'll start off with Unity Talks. There were several Unity Talks that were really great. Um, some of them focused around how do you build um, in a way for multiple platforms that you address a lot of issues ahead of time. So then you're not trying to go back and remake the wheel, basically. And a lot of that included understanding what your targets are, creating your profiles, really setting up your tools for success. And a lot of other talks involve similar things such as like, how do you build your pipelines better? How do you autom find ways to automate things? And really it was great just to see those different topics talked about because they help you think about things in ways you normally wouldn't, um, such as automation and how if you name certain things with a certain like formula, it makes it easier to automate those things later on when you wanna build tools. The next bit was Unreal. Unreal had a massive presence. They pretty much had about maybe a fifth or a quarter of the southern show floor, um, which was a lot of space, honestly. Besides the fact that they were also giving away popcorn, cookies, um, booze, coffee, and t-shirts. Um, and unfortunately, the one group that had the misfortune of being directly next to them was unity because it just made their booth look so much smaller and less impactful but unreal had a good reason for it they announced a lot and i mean a lot from their verse language to awesome new procedural generation tools to populating lot landscapes during runtime with ease um to unreal for Fortnite, which is great for you getting more younger developers making stuff because the tools are there now and they're accessible. And honestly, Unreal was really impressive at this GDC, if I have to say anything. Micro talks and just other things that were on the floor. Obviously seeing all the indie games for the IGF awards on the show floor um, being able to play them, see them, and see what those next big indie hits is always exciting. Game Board actually had time at the IGDA booth showing off the Game Board. So for those who are interested in tabletop board games and are wondering what the future for that could look like, 
the last game board basically presents a digital game board console where you can play games on and it has attachments that you can put on miniatures tokens and things like that so players actually can track things in the game because it's associated to their specific piece and so on and so forth it's really cool tech um, it's definitely worth checking out some videos on that, especially. And then, again, it's just the other smaller talks. Like, there was talks on UX. Um, talks on how to really develop your portfolio. Talks about cultures and how they've been represented in games. Like, Latin characters in games. The history of them. Honestly, it was a really great GDC. And it felt compared to last year like almost a return to form it's not perfect gdc and there are some things they could do to maybe make it more accessible to developers from different income groups or different backgrounds that may not necessarily have as easy of access to it if you ever have the opportunity to go and you're a developer or, or artist or you work in games or you're interested in working in games or just interested in games and how the sauce is made I definitely recommend going at least once. But with that, hopefully um, catch you all at a GDC eventually. And have a good one.